Welcome to the class of Sustainable Development Goals. My name is Zhang Yuquan. I'm really glad to have this opportunity to present this course to you today. Before we start, let me briefly introduce myself. So my background is PhD in Agricultural Economics and Bachelor of Science in Resources Science and Engineering. Prior to my joining SJTU in 2015, I worked at the Research Triangle Institute and then at the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis. For the background of this course, you may already know that the 2030 Agenda, consisting of 17 Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, were adopted by all UN member states in 2015. As grantly stated by the UN, these SDGs provide a shared blueprint for peace and prosperity for people and the planet, now and into the future. Take a look at the 17 SDGs. We may feel overwhelmed. They literally occupy the entire page. Gladly, we have the five Ps to sort out these SDGs. As implied above already, they are prosperity, people, planet, peace, and partnership. Using these five Ps will help us better understand the aspirations underlying the UN SDGs. Regarding the basics of this course, it is a two-credit course consisting of 32 hours. The course will be launched this fall semester, and the arena will be at SJTU's China-UK Low Carbon College. To advance the achievement of the SDGs, six how-to pathways are recommended, and quite a few are closely related to the Low Carbon College's primary programs. One is Low Carbon Energy Engineering, while the other is Low Carbon Environmental Engineering. During the SDG course, we may have access to some of the ongoing research activities here. On the right side, we see a picture of East Sea Ground Bridge very close to Lingang. Along the bridge, we can see the silhouettes of the wind turbines, on the left bottom, we see a picture of the wind turbines in Copenhagen, Denmark. So, as you may find, efforts are being made worldwide to decarbonize the energy supply systems. Turning to the specific contents of the course, for each SDG, we shall introduce the basics. Then, deep discussion that stay relevant to the given topic will be encouraged. On the right side of this slide, the figures are showing how China has performed against the different SDG goals during the period of 2000 to 2015. The upper one shows the performance at the national level. The lower one shows the regional heterogeneity in SDG scores. What's behind these numbers? We shall explore some case studies of China in the arena of SDGs. By taking this course, I imagine that by the end of the semester, participants shall master the definitions of SDGs, gain an updated understanding of China today, and develop analytical skills using a multifaceted SDG framework. So that's our course, the UN SDGs. I look forward to seeing you this fall semester.